Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of my plant-based weight loss YouTube channel vlog. And uh, this is part 2 of my discussion on the horrible ulcerations and wounds that I had on my left shin and foot and to a limited degree they still exist on the left foot but uh, the shin, the leg, uh, has no open wounds on it right now for the first time since, uh, without thinking about it too much, I want to say 2006 or 7. And that's a rather amazing thing, if you ask me, uh, because things had gotten so bad at the very end before the turnaround began Excuse me, my shoulder's itchy here. But yeah, things were so bad, I was quite terrified um, that the leg was going to have to go, that it was going to turn septic and, uh, you know, blood poisoning can set in when you've got enough of an infection. and suddenly you're laying there in a pool of your own sweat and unresponsive and uh, you can look up the rest. It's very ugly. But here I am now with a leg that looks a lot better. Uh, there's still swelling from vein problems and there's still traces of lymphedema which is a very hard thing to get to go away apparently. I, I guess it really never does. But nonetheless, all of these problems have been reduced. And now I'm just waiting for the foot to hopefully finish healing. And I will be able to say that I have accomplished alone, just with the help of my wife and diet and coconut oil applied to the skin. This is not eating it, cooking with it. Uh, coconut oil is very high in saturated fat. It is anathema to everything that the McDougal diet stands for. So there is no way I would ingest it. But the purported antibacterial properties and the healing properties, um, that's something I really would like to go into in this part because Looking at Google and running all kinds of searches trying to get links that I could put up in this video description, you know, that show that some kind of study has been performed on the use of coconut oil. I can't come up with anything like that. There are anecdotes. Uh, people talking about using coconut oil to help heal stomach ulcers and peptic ulcers and uh, you know intestinal uh, ulcerative uh, colitis that kind of thing and people say that they have used coconut oil to heal skin lesions uh, like abrasions and cuts that healed faster because of the coconut oil but nothing in detail about any kind of study involving wound care patients with diabetic ulcers on their feet and legs, uh, venous insufficiency uh, produced wounds, which is what I had, that kind of a double whammy, nothing. And it is my hope that maybe somebody will listen to this, watch this video, and get the idea in their head that they could run such a study at a wound care facility because I've been through all kinds of wound care. Uh, what they like to do for those who don't know is they like to take little pick-like things, little metal uh, implements and pick at the perimeter and the inside of wounded areas to get rid of dead skin to you know clean them they like to put all kinds of ointments on you they love to give you antibiotics 
and uh, I'm going to devote a video to everything I went through with wound care because it was a nightmare, it ate up literally months of my life, made me very sick, almost destroyed, I think, my uh, stomach and intestines from all the antibiotics. Had I known from the start that how much the coconut oil would have helped, and had I had the wherewithal to commit to the McDougal plan and eat the low-fat starch-based diet, I could have saved myself so much hassle and, and money and heartache. But what I wish would happen is that some wound care facility somewhere would give consideration to a controlled study where they treat some of their patients with coconut oil in addition to what they believe are the regular gold standard treatments and perhaps convince some patients to try a McDougal style diet and then another group where they just do what they normally do I would love to see the difference um, for me it's been amazing you know and even if eventually, because of the circulation being bad and having no way to go in and, and have surgery done on the veins, I know there is a, a laser surgery that can repair busted vein valves. I know there are other things that can be done which will help the internal aspect. And also, as an aside, I don't have any way of knowing if the infection has just traveled down under the skin. They say that can happen. But I would think that the severity and the god-awful looking symptoms I had on the surface, if all they did was burrow down, I don't know how I could stand or walk on my left leg. It just seems counterintuitive to me that I would not be able to feel intense searing pain if I had an infection down underneath, if the infection traveled to the bone, which it never did, um, and all the times that I was being hospitalized and tested and checked. So, you know, I, I really believe that without the diet and the coconut oil as well, I would be in a very different position now and I would love to see this corroborated. If I could snap my fingers tomorrow and be a doctor like Dr. McDougall, that would be my project. My pet project would be to try this out in a controlled study because I think it's a wonderful thing, the coconut oil and the diet. and. Uh, Anybody out there watching this who maybe has a parent or a grandparent facing this kind of issues, really, you know, go to the McDougal site, which I have linked in every video. Check it out. Um, this is an unsolicited plug for what is entirely free information. Of course, Dr. McDougal does publish books and DVDs which you can buy for educational purposes. He's got cookbooks, but in a way all of those products are redundant because there are hundreds of recipes right on his website. There are studies posted in his newsletters with references to all the medical journals. This is not just Dr. McDougall saying, well I think and I believe, like a lot of so-called experts like to do and then they don't bother to source what they're saying with peer review literature or if they do like is the case with some of these paleo gurus the studies which they show are hideously performed and are, are actually rather meaningless 
if you watch through the video series done by uh, Primitive Nutrition, which I also link in every video, um, if it's your kind of thing to watch lectures and want to be educated about this sort of thing, you'll, you'll learn how much dishonesty is employed by those, excuse me, one moment, Ugh. how much dishonesty is actually employed by those who want to apologize for the, you know, saturated fat consumption and the, the meat and dairy consumption and so on. Uh, everything that you get in terms of information on the McDougal site is real. The Star McDougaler section is full of real people with whom I've, you know, had discussions in the forum there. This is no lie, it's no joke, and anybody out there, whether or not they have insurance, whether or not they can afford all kinds of fancy medical treatments, I would think that it would be a much smoother, less costly, less uncomfortable alternative to go ahead and uh, just change one's way of eating to still continue to consume delicious food but in quantities that you're comfortable with and to know that regardless of your personal situation with how well you can move around, how much you weigh, uh, how mobile you are, that the weight is going to come off because there is no fat there to bog down your system and make it hard to digest the food and to be retained by the body. It's primarily complex carbohydrates which are our natural fuel which the body burns off as second nature and it's just truly wonderful. I still have a left leg and foot only because of this diet and it is my belief also the use of the coconut oil. So if you've got ulcers, buy some. It's only like, goodness, uh, for a number of different reasons, I'm kind of low on sleep. So excuse the yawning, but uh, it's about 12 to 15 dollars for like a 16 ounce container at the most you can get it online cheaper you can also get it in bulk up to like a gallon which I guess you could store in your refrigerator and uh, it would be there for a number of months because a small little pint of it lasts me a couple of months so if you got a gallon you'd be good for a year or two. Anyway, give it a try. It can't hurt. It can only help. And especially consider feeding your body with what will naturally promote healing and weight loss. The starch-based food. And I think that you'll find improvements and things changing that you had no hope or no belief could change. You know, I don't say this as a doctor or even as somebody who stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Uh, what I'm talking about is just my own personal experience. It defies logic that after spending a number of years doing the runaround with doctors, taking all the medications, going to all these treatments, spending untold amounts of money and living in, you know, just barely skating the surface of poverty. And that's when we both had jobs. All of our money was going into insurance deductibles and co-pays and prescriptions and fees. And of course, now that <laughs> I lost the insurance and was kind of cast out. I've got destroyed credit, which, and thousands of dollars in debts I have no hope of repaying. You know, and 
how many people out there are going bankrupt primarily because of medical debts. It numbers, I think, into the millions. And uh, that's a whole other issue, the healthcare system, which I'm going to talk about, I'm sure, multiple times. But uh, anyway, I think I've gone on long enough and I've conveyed everything that I wanted to. Your feedback, your own stories, left as video responses or comments are always welcome. This channel is not something that I've set up just where I can talk my head off and bore everybody. I want it to be a place where other people who are frustrated and not getting adequate care and are confused and hurting and wondering, you know, if they're going to live to see tomorrow. I want to give them hope and I want them to feel like they can come in here and share their own stories and stuff like that. And I really hope that's what this channel will eventually turn into. Uh, so with that, I'm going to close out. I thank you all for listening. And again, I apologize one more time for the first part of this two-part video where, you know, I talk in such detail about uh, the wounds and so forth. I know it's not easy to listen to. It wasn't easy to talk about. It's embarrassing. But full disclosure and honesty and my purpose in doing this demand that I don't hold things back, that I'm upfront and that I'm honest. And if you can appreciate that, then I think I've done my job. So with that, I, I thank you for watching this video and all other videos that I'll be putting up. And uh, have a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.